More than 180 people died when American Airlines Flight 77 slammed into the Pentagon. But in the midst of black smoke and rubble, America rose above the devastation. Correspondent Eric Rosales continues our team coverage, taking a closer look through the eyes of those who witnessed the plane crash into the nerve center of America's military power. You are hearing audio from first responders and air traffic control on the day of the attack. White House has been advised. All right, I'll tell them. The city, just north of Crystal City. Just to the north of your town. Just big. Hear that? Yeah, I've stopped all departures. Yeah, went in the Pentagon. Looks like it went in the Pentagon. In the moments inside the hallway, burning to death seemed to last an eternity. Lieutenant Colonel but Brian Birdwell, now a Texas down. state senator, never thought a trip to the restroom would save his life. On the second floor of the Pentagon's outer E-ring, his office was in Flight 77's path. Birdwell was engulfed in flames. Parts of his polyester army pants melted to his skin. Burned over 60%, it took Birdwell more than four years and countless surgeries to recover. My, you know, my ears are artificial, my eye sockets have been rebuilt, my forehead. And then banked up 395, and I was just maybe a mile and a half up that highway, sitting in that traffic jam next to the, to the Pentagon. Gary Bauer, president of the conservative organization American Values, witnessed the plane collide with the Pentagon. I didn't know it then, but I would find out later that at that very moment, friends of mine uh, died both as passengers on that plane and also at their desk in, in the Pentagon. Two lives of many impacted that day. Since then, the Pentagon has been rebuilt, stronger, and a memorial stands at the site of the impact. If you've ever visited the Pentagon, you know about the 9-11 memorial that sits outside, but inside the Pentagon in the E-ring, which was in the direct path of the plane, sits a more intimate memorial for America's heroes who died that day. The memorial is built right next to the chapel. The walls covered in metal similar to the inside of a plane. Etched in stone, the names of those lost. On one side sits a purple heart. On the other, the Defense of Freedom Medal, a book showcasing the lives of those lost, along with another filled with messages of hope and prayers. On the way to the memorial, quilts sent by Americans line the hallway. This country is made great and kept great by the exertions of citizens who love this country and love their freedoms. Both State Senator Brian Birdwell and Gary Bauer hope the 9-11 attacks will never be forgotten, especially with America's security challenges growing. And at the same time all that is happening, uh, among American young people, we are at the lowest levels of patriotism in modern American history. A history they hope won't repeat itself. At the Pentagon, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.